Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. All we ask in return, please refer a friend. Today is Monday, August the 20th in 2012. We're looking at the U.S. markets today, uh, looking at the three-month daily charts. If you watched the markets today, you were probably bored stiff. The markets started to come down and then just kind of played around in the negative territory for the duration of the day, but didn't really actually do anything, really tight trading range there. That actually, you shouldn't look at that and call this, oh, this is the peak, we're starting to sell off. You're actually just seeing a moment of hesitation by traders. They don't really know what to do with the market right now. Uh, what we we can look at and say this low point here is obviously lower than the previous day. We'll see that on all the charts we're looking at there. That's obviously not a, a good sign, not a sign that you're seeing a lot of strength at the upside there. And when you start to get that, like, over here you've got high, uh, low point here, higher than the previous one, and that continues until you get here. And that was actually the start of a little bit of a pullback here. So that's one thing that you could be looking at. Other than that, I really don't see a lot here that you'd be um, you know, bullish to uh, consider or bearish to consider. I, don't really, I wouldn't short this, but I, I wouldn't be uh, dying to go buy it either. Uh, the main reason why I wouldn't want to buy this situation would be that the ultimate oscillator, uh, again and again, you're going to see that the ultimate oscillator, when it comes up uh, there to the 70 line or above it, that's where you start getting pullbacks. Every single time you see that, it's really likely you're going to get that pullback. So uh, do I want to be a buyer here? No. I think I'll sit back and just wait for a better opportunity. I think the NASDAQ shows me the, or tells the clearest picture here, a uh, clear story. When you look at the NASDAQ, you can see the same overall conditions that we just pointed out to you on the Dow Jones Industrial Average, lower low from, uh, today versus uh, Friday. Uh, you'll also notice you're up there above the overbought 70 line on the ultimate oscillator. That's never a place where you're going to be all confident when you buy. Uh, and you're up there at 85.43. That's way up in there. Also on this particular chart, you have a very clearly issue right here. Uh, you get this major gap has not filled yet and I've talked about this uh, several times but uh, we had one over here and we had one further back here which you can't see anymore on this chart and in every one of those cases I told you guys when you had this big move here uh, don't buy into it it's going to pull back and fill that gap when it pulls back and fills that gap that's where you want to get interested in being your buying if you're going to do that uh, in this case here I, I'm going to tell you the exact same thing you've got this major gap up here just like we saw this one here just like we saw this one back here and now you're pushing up here and running to the upside you can do that but when you get a pullback you're going to be down here again uh, so why would you be doing that kind of risk I wouldn't especially with an ultimate oscillator up there over the 70 line again on this case here I would just sit back and wait for it looking now at the Russell 2000 small cap index the same overall story I just pointed out with the other charts you've got another hanging man candlestick formation a little hammer formation here uh, overbought on the ultimate uh, oscillator here showing you up above the 70 line there where you should be looking to find some kind of a peak some kind of a rolling over situation like we've seen before uh, I wouldn't be expecting anything different this time around yes you can still press to the upside for a couple of days and then you get a pullback either way so I'd just rather wait for it the SPX or the S&P 500 large cap index exact same story we've just pointed out on every other chart same condition same activity for the day and again ultimate oscillator up there above the 70 line what am I going to do with that? Absolutely nothing. It's just not a situation that you can confidently trade from either direction. Uh, you could get short here, but you could easily get stopped out by another day to the upside or something like that before she rolls over. So without the right signals, I can't get short. And without this uh, nice little pullback, I can't actually get long either. So I'll just sit here and twiddle my thumbs and watch the market go nowhere. One last chart to look at for the day. I'm going to be looking at Toronto Stock Exchange, the TSX. I just want to drive this point home for you. Same overall story here on this chart that we just showed you on the others. And you will notice again over, uh, over the 70 line, the ultimate oscillator. Again, where you will be expecting to find a pullback. I want to point out this previous rally here, previous high point here. Notice the gaps, one and two. And then you get a nice pullback in this situation here. You get a gap here and a gap here. And then you get this overbought condition here. What do you really expect is going to happen? Just because I show you one other time it's happened like that doesn't mean, of course, it's going to happen that way. But this is one of many, many, many times in my history of trading that I've seen the same condition and never be a situation where I want to go out and buy it now. I'd rather wait for a pullback. If you've not been to our free website at perfectstockalert.com, it's right there. It's 100% free. All we ask in return, please refer a friend or we'll hit you in the face with a brick. That's right. I still say that. 
Please take a moment to review our disclaimer. The information provided herein is our opinion only. Under no circumstances do any statements here represent a recommendation to buy or sell securities or make any kind of an investment. You are responsible for your own due diligence. To summarize, we do not provide investment advice, nor do we make any claims or promises that any information here will lead to a profit, loss, or any other result. These videos are for educational purposes only.